Yes. Right. Same again. Some people blend like so, so much. Um, they just really, really like to go crazy on the blending, um, which is, you know, fine for them. But for me, um, I think you lose the sort of definition of the cat shape. Like if I just soften that out so much, it just, for me, it just, you don't see the definition and especially in pictures, you know, like the girls obviously get papped a lot and if you just blend it out too much, you can't see it. And I found it myself on nights out. I'll think, you know, I've, I've it looks good, my makeup, and then I had look back at the pictures on Facebook like everybody does and I'm like, what the hell happened to my eye makeup? Um... Okay, so with your little brush that we drew the original V in, don't put any more colour onto it, but just with whatever's left, just literally run it under the eye just to keep everything sort of connected. Okay, now I still feel that's a little bit too much white, so what I do with the excess on the brush, I'm just going to kind of go over some of that yeah just dabbing a bit more colour on so it's still lighter than the rest but it's just it's just not quite as white Still not enough. So visual, I'm just looking in the mirror, I'm like, no. I'm still just using that navy, I think it's called contrast. I really just kind of kept, kept the black to these bits. Carbon. Okay. Blend a little bit more. Okay, right, so now, mascara, I use Maybelline Great Lash, everybody's in the pink and green, mascara haven't they, kind of go this way, like against your lashes, and just don't be shy to get right into the root, really give it some welly. I kind of go back on them because you can sort of get more into the lash and then once I've I've gone backwards I then bring them this way and then you sort of double up with the liquid so I'm going to come back again and go again and this is the time to build up just keep going because if you let them dry, what happens is you get spider eyes. Because once that mascara goes dry and then you try and apply more, really get in the corners as well to elongate your eyes out. People always kind of forget that. Just rub it on the underneath massive amount as we have on the top. Perfect. Perfect. Um a little bit of Carmex, just on this tiny not like even that much because the lipstick won't stick. Okie dokie. Right. Now lashes. So I've been using Eliza 
and this is buylashes.co.uk, you can buy them. Number H120. This is what I used on Lauren on Saturday. Okay, so here's what I made earlier. Um, lashes, okay. So where your lashes start to grow is where you're supposed to put them. Um, so you would put them there. Oh my goodness. Just really sticking to my thumb. Um, I'm just measuring that these are going to fit my... I've got quite big eyes, so I don't really need to cut them down. But some people would. That is basically it. Um, what I was going to say, though, is... Yeah, you're supposed... You, ideally, you're supposed to start where your eyelashes start growing. But sometimes for a really smoldery eye, I think you, could go, you can go in a little bit more. Um, just sort of really kind of gives it a nice full on effect uh, so again break those rules be rebellious um, duo glue sorry guys duo mac put a bit on your hand run the lash through it so you're getting it on both sides, focus on the ends, that is the most embarrassing thing if they come away on the ends. Wait a second, let them dry. Shouldn't brown them if it's a customer. It gross really. Um, okay, but it's me so it's okay. Right, I now always put them in the middle, just let them s stick there for a second, and then this is probably the hardest part, getting them in the corner, so just let that stick, because what happens is you then put the corner on and that bit goes up and you're like, oh, everything's going wrong. And then you stupidly blink like I just did. But it's okay because it's nice, the glue is nice and tacky and it's it's actually perfect timing. And then once they're on, if just play around with them. If you need to push them up a little bit to make them look a bit, you know, more that way, do it. Okay, so that's that. That's one on. Now, if you wanted like to <coughs> go really glamorous, just put another set on the top, and that's what it would look like. It's just like, hey, it's super sexy. But um, we didn't do that because um, it was like a charity event, so it wasn't sort of mega full on makeup. It was like a bit kind of glamorous, but not crazy. Um, again, okay, start in the middle. Tap to the end. Wait a second. Um, some people use tweezers, tweezers, I don't, because um, whenever I use tweezers, I bend the lash. Probably because I'm heavy handed. Um, so it just doesn't work for me. And personally, I much prefer just using my hands. You can just kind of get control. So I'm just going back with that uh, first colour, Naked Lunch. Is it Naked Lunch or Naked Bunch? 
naked lunge and just bring this out a little bit more because once everything's on like the lashes and stuff that's when you can really like see what's happening and see if you need a bit more anywhere um, so normally like what I would do now with the girls is then go back and see okay that could like do with coming down a touch more and again that side can you see that? Da -da. and um, oh yeah that's what I was going to say so now, <clears throat> with the black track in here and the uh, 208 brush, um, what I find is once I've blended the eye out so much, sometimes the eyeliner is just kind of blended with it and paled into nothing. So then I, uh, I go back over. I go back over my work quite a bit and then I, I link back in these bits with the lashes and then I go back over the flicks which I need <coughs> some more black track for. Right, done, cool, okay, okay, now I go back in with everything else, so back to the bronzer, medium dark, no, medium, no dark, just dark, just kind of all over the face, a little bit of primary, on the spot. Right, and then is it gone? Oh, it's there. Um back in here with cheekbones with the um sun power. Sun power. Like sunflower. Sorry, I do tend to talk <laughs> a lot of rubbish. Well, not about makeup, just in between singing along to what I'm talking about. Okay, so nice and chiseled. Bear in mind, in 20 minutes, this is going to sink into the skin, and a lot of it won't show as much, and you'll get out and wish you'd put on more. So, if some of you are like, oh my goodness, it seems like she's putting on a lot. It's not really. 